Hi students, in today's class we will look into the topic environment. Before getting into the video, please don't forget to press the bell button. Please share the video, subscribe and like it. Okay, now we will move on to the topic. It's for the class 7th uh, Social Science NCRT. The environment. The environment is nothing but whatever we see in our surroundings. It is our basic life support system. Uh, some of the examples of environment is water, air, fire, land, etc. And there are uh, four benefits of the environment, which is it provides the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat and the land where we live. These are the basic uh, things that a human uh, an organism and animal everything needs. And uh, let, uh, let me see uh, the components of environment. Uh, there are totally three components of uh, environment. It consists of natural, human-made and human. These are all categorized into so many topics. And in natural, uh, it is divided into four. And natural consists of living things. That is the biosphere, land, lithosphere, air, that is atmosphere and water, that is hydrosphere. And next we move on to the second component of environment, that is human-made. Human made is nothing but what the humans have built, what they have made. Examples, buildings, parks, bridges, roads, industries and monuments. And the third component of environment is the human. We, the major part of the environment, uh, it's the individual, family, community, religion, educational, economic and political situations which uh, happens in our environment. The component uh, which we saw consists of the human being, nature and human creation. These things put together to form an environment. Students, I think you are clear with these topics. And now we move on to the next topic. The environment is derived from the French word means environer. Environer is that the neighborhood. Neighborhood means the environment It's uh, is known as neighborhood because we depend on environment and all the animals depend uh, in directly or independently on the environment next we move on to the topic biotic and abiotic biotic is nothing but the living organisms the world of living organisms example plant and animals abiotic is the world of non-living elements example land abiotic uh, we can give so many examples such as bridges uh, table share etc biotic is the living organisms please don't confuse with this biotic is a living and abiotic is non living next uh, the topic is natural environment natural environment consists of uh, totally four four land water air plants there are two uh, four domains of natural environment it consists of lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Lithosphere is nothing but the land. Hydrosphere is the water. Atmosphere is the air. And biosphere is the living things. Uh, to, uh, to get it easily into your mind, uh, the four domains, you can remember it as live happily and beautifully. Uh, lithosphere is live uh, L, L for L Hydrosphere is happily H for H Atmosphere is and And biosphere for beautifully So keep it in the mind Live happily and beautifully Okay Next the brief introduction of the four domains First one is lithosphere I already told lithosphere is live So L for L is Lithosphere is land Land is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth. Land is in which what we all live. All human beings and animals, we all live is in the land, that is lithosphere. Land is made up of rocks and minerals. So much of rocks and minerals is put together to form the land. And it is the irregular surface as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. This Land is found over the continents and ocean flows. And there are uh, advantages of this lithosphere, the land. Land provides us forest, grassland for grazing, land for agriculture and human settlement. Land is a source of mineral wealth also. And in between, you will see uh, when the World Environment Day falls. Does anyone know? 
it is on 5th june of every year and next uh, the next domain is hydrosphere hydrosphere is happily so happily we live with water okay hydrosphere is water sources of water where do we get water there are so many sources for the human beings animals to get water so, uh, such of them are river lakes seas oceans ponds wells and water is essential for all organism to live in the earth the next domain is atmosphere atmosphere is a layer of air that surrounds the earth and uh, earth is surrounded by so ma- uh, so many kinds of air and uh, the air we breathe is the oxygen and uh, plants use carbon dioxide okay the next point is gravity of the earth holds the atmosphere around it and it doesn't let out the air uh, atmosphere that is, that is the air that uh, protect us from the harmful rays and heat of the sun and next is the biosphere biosphere consists of the all living things and students i think you are all clear with the topic and students i think you are all clear with the before topics and let me brief you this the domains of the environment the first one is the lithosphere where buildings are built the road have been built and next is the hydrosphere where birds are swimming and a man is rowing a boat next is the atmosphere where a plane is flying in the air next is the biosphere where it consists of all human beings animals and birds and the air next we move on to the topic ecosystem ecosystem is nothing but where all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings immediate surrounding is nothing but the environment often they are also interdependent on each other this relation between the living organisms as well as the relation between the organisms and their surroundings form an ecosystem thank you students for listening to the video if you have any queries please comment below take care children be safe and please don't forget to subscribe the channel